In an economy of rising fuel prices, routing proves to be an important factor in fleet management. Efficient route planning can reduce cost and increase productivity. The Geotab fleet management system provides a tool for creating and optimizing routes as well as sending those routes to Garmin navigation devices installed in vehicles. Even without a Garmin installed, routes can be planned, optimized, and printed for distribution to drivers. In this video, we discuss the options provided by this tool and how its use can increase efficiency and accuracy as well as reduce costs. Another benefit to managing routes using the Geotab system is reporting. The plan versus actual report provides a comparison between the route plan and what the driver actually does. This report includes expected and actual arrival times, expected and actual stop duration, and expected and actual mileage. The report summary also includes expected, actual, and the difference in time duration, distance, and stops. In this exercise, we will create a route. To begin, click Zones and Messages in the left menu, then click Routes to display a submenu. Finally, click Routes in the submenu and a list of existing routes are displayed. Click the Add Route button and the map is displayed. Zoom the map into the area where the route starts using the plus to zoom and holding down the mouse button and dragging to reposition the mouse. Here, we locate the intersection of Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard and Nebraska Avenue in Tampa, Florida. Next, click the zone for the beginning of the point of the route and the menu is displayed. Select the Add Zone to Route option. Reposition the mouse and repeat the steps to add stops until all are included in the route. Stops where a zone doesn't exist can be added by clicking the location and selecting Add Waypoint from the menu that is displayed. To complete, Click the Save Route button and a new window is opened. By default, the system suggests a name for the route based on the addresses of the first and last stops. This name can be changed by selecting the contents of the field and entering a new name. The next step is to optimize the stop order. Optimization arranges the stops in an order requiring the fewest number of miles. Even after the stop order is optimized, manual adjustments can be made. We can reverse the second stop with the first. This is accomplished by holding down the mouse button on the second stop and dragging to the desired position, then releasing the mouse button. Finally, if desired, enter a comment or a brief description of the route in the comment field and click the Save button. Now that our route is finished, a route plan can be created by opening the route and clicking the Create Plan button. Once the button is clicked, choose a vehicle to assign to the route from the Vehicle field and specify a start date. Next, enter a starting time for the field of the first stop. Once entry is complete, the arrival time for each succeeding stop is updated. The system suggests stop durations. To override these suggestions, enter a projected stop duration in the fields provided. Once the stop durations are appropriate for your route, click the Save button. After the route plan is saved, it can be opened and a report generated for printing to distribute to drivers. If Garmin navigation devices are installed in the vehicle using the Geotab wiring harness, the route can be sent directly to the vehicle by clicking the Send to Vehicle button. Here we take a look at the driver's perspective from the Garmin. When the route is received, a chime is played and an icon is displayed indicating stops have arrived. Let's open the route stop and take a look at the information included. When the driver is ready to begin, the menu icon is touched 
and Go is selected from the menu. The Garmin now calculates the directions and guides the driver to the location of the stop. If the Auto Arrive option is enabled, the first stop is opened and the Garmin asks if the stop should be marked as done. We acknowledge the stop should be marked as done. Next, we are asked if the Garmin should start navigation to the next stop. The prompt is answered by touching the menu icon and selecting Yes from the menu. Now the Garmin begins the process of determining directions for the next stop. Without the Auto Arrive option, once a stop is complete, the driver must open the stop, mark it as done, then the next stop must be opened and the Go option selected from the menu. If your vehicle does not have a Garmin installed, directions can be printed. Here, we print the directions by opening an existing route. Once the route is open, Report is clicked from the View menu. As you can see, turn-by-turn -turn directions are provided along with the distance and duration for each step of the route. This report can be printed by clicking the PDF or Excel buttons and printing through the two native applications. In My Geotab, messages or routes sent to the Garmin can be viewed by clicking Zones and Messages, Text Messages. This window contains a list of each message and route sent. The information includes the time and date the message was sent as well as the time and date the message was received on the Garmin. Follow-up messages can be sent concerning a stop by clicking the arrow button. Once clicked, a new window is opened that includes a menu to add recipients, a field to enter the message, and reply options. Reply options specify the type and subject of the reply the recipient is permitted to return. Once all selections are made, the Send button is clicked to send the message to the Garmin. Once a route is planned and saved, it can be viewed on the map by opening the route, then clicking the Show on Map button. Routes can be edited, stop sequence can be changed, or the route can be sent to a vehicle by clicking a route trail, stop, beginning node, or ending node, and making a selection from the menu that is displayed. Dispatches can also be sent to Garmin devices without creating a route. The first step is to open the map. Zoom into the area containing the dispatch location. As an example, here, we located 6201 Johns Road in Tampa, Florida. Using the plus icon on the map, zoom in close enough to be able to click on the exact address. Once the mouse is clicked, a menu is displayed. Select Add Square Zone, and the new zone window is displayed. Click the Save button. Now click the newly created zone and select Dispatch Vehicle from the menu. Once the selection is made, a window is open containing a field to select recipients as well as a message field containing the address of the dispatch location. Select a recipient and include additional information needed by the driver in the message field. Then click the Send button. In summary, planning and dispatching routes using the tools provided in My Geotab can reduce cost, increase accuracy, and simplify managing routes. When used in conjunction with Garmin navigation devices installed in the vehicle, routes can be sent directly to drivers reducing the chance for errors. My Geotab coupled with Garmin navigation devices provide a complete workflow for sending routes, sending dispatches, two-way communication, and providing drivers with turn-by-turn -turn directions.